We got more clips from OTAs, and we're going to take a look at the Cleveland Browns and get a good look at Deshaun Watson. We're going to watch him work through some drills, throw the ball around a little bit, and everything else. But before we dig in, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're going hard in the paint looking at these veterans and these rookies at these camps. Rookie camp, mini camp, OTAs, training camp, all off season long. You need to see what your players are doing behind the scenes. Some of these new rookies, some of these players on different teams, like Deshaun Watson coming back from an injury. You want to see what they're doing at camp? They're going to be right here. Click that button. Stop missing out on your favorite players. We're going to take a look at Deshaun Watson. I got three minutes of clips from OTAs. That's a lot of clips for a player. The most I've had was probably about two minutes. So this is the most I've had so far this offseason on a player from practices. This is all from last week, as it should be. So here it is, him with a little toss there. There's a lot of practice where he was not throwing the ball and he was just doing mental reps. We might be seeing that with this one here behind Jameis Winston. Like that. Just getting it in there. But that's important to note that he's still going through the mental process, still there at OTAs while rehabbing. But we're also having some practices too while he is slinging the ball a little bit on a pitch count. And things are looking good with him. He looks like he's back on track. That's what the beat writers are saying too as they're looking through the clips as well. So that sounds good to me. We're moving around here. We're looking good. And Deshaun Watson here at Browns OTAs. Just getting ready for getting deeper into the offseason for mini camp in June. And then we got training camp in July. We're not too far away. OTAs is pretty much the ramp up to that. You're getting things installed. You're getting things loose and limbered. You're getting back with your veterans, back with your teammates. And here we go. Jogging out there. Again, simulating a throw. It's all good. He's got good command of the offense. He's got good composure. Definitely can say that about him. Here's one of him throwing. This one lit up social media. You might have already seen it. It's him just throwing the rock around a couple times. But it's a good indicator that he's on track. He's on a little pitch count. They're trying to see what's under the hood with that. Now we're working on the feet. Sweet feet there. Nice and choppy. Again, we're not trying to be Barry Sanders right now. We're just trying to get our feet more aligned, more attuned. That we're nice and smooth that way. We're eluding a pass rush. We're good to go. We're going to go in another direction here from the side, I think. There we go. Chop, 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 chop. There we are. We're just trying to keep it smooth. You can definitely tell by the intent. Here's another one. We're stepping back. I think we're going to throw this one. There we go. A light pass. Cedric Tillman there. And a light pass tells us a lot He there. Like I say, a picture's worth a thousand words. A quick clip of a player in OTAs and mini camp is worth a million. And that's my little tagline there. But what that clip showed of him throwing the football is saying, hey, I'm on track. I'm moving up there. I'm rehabbing. I'm looking good. We're going to be ready here for training camp. We're going to be on par. We're going to be good to go health-wise. That is what that is telling me, especially that throw right there. That throw right there to David Bell. David Bell. But Deshaun Watson, we're back on track health-wise. We should be good to go for training camp. All systems go is what I'm saying. Winging the ball all day long once we get there. That being said... That being said, can we take a step forward here in 2024? Can we do what we were assigned to do and get this team to another level? You added Jerry Judy. You got Elijah Moore and you got Amari Cooper. That is a good wide receiver depth chart. You're good at all phases. Even if injuries occur, you still got good wide receivers. You got David Njoku who turned it up last year. He poured it on. He looks good with Flacco. Flacco kind of gave you a little blueprint of where to flow the ball and distribute things. And Najoku's good. Najoku's a good tight end. Let him get some love. The running back position, we're preparing for Nick Chubb either way. So that being said, they brought in Nyam Hines. They got Deonta Foreman. Of course, Jerome Ford. That's a good group. 
That's a good group. That's a group that says, hey, we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. We're, we're going to be efficient. It's a lunch pail group of running backs. Not a lot of flash, but between the tackles, we're going to get it done. Nine Hines can catch the ball out of the backfield. You got everything you need just in case Nick Chubb's not Nick Chubb anymore. You're ready for that. So can he take a step forward? I think there's potential for that. I think we already seen the downside, and we could revert back to that. A lot of people say I'm too positive, but once I touch on the negative, don't really go past it. I just said that. We've already seen the downside, really, and we could see more of that. And we also seen that they brought in Jameis Winston. They're prepared for that as well. The Browns also see that. So they can really flip to something else midseason if they need to be because they got a damn good team. But the upside here, focus on that. How would that look like with this team? It would look like him distributing the rock with Jerry Judy, creating separation, getting open constantly. Elijah Moore in the slot, get moved around. They moved him around a lot last year. This time in the offseason, they're installing plays where he's getting handoffs. They're moving around in motion. That's why we look at these clips, because it gives you an indicator of what the season could look like. Because Elijah Moore last year, once he was on this team, they were moving him around. They were giving him a lot of handoffs in practice. He was looking like he was going to be an established part of the offense. And then last year, once we got in season, there were games where he's getting about a 20, 20 plus percent target share. Some games that dropped. And the QD targets wasn't that great for him. But still, still the workload was. Should see that kind of hover around there or decrease. I don't expect it to go to zero with Jerry Judy there. I expect him to get some workload. I expect The Rock to get distributed. I think David Njoku is going to be the X factor in this offense. I think he can soak up some targets. I think he should be getting a lot more workload especially when it comes to his size and just athleticism. I think he really helped the wide receivers too, take a lot of their load off, and I think that allowed them to get open a lot easier, especially over the middle. He's good after the catch. He's got that speed, and you're going to have to make a business decision with him. He's also good in the end zone. So what would Deshaun Watson look like if he's firing on all cylinders with this team? I imagine the wide receivers are doing their thing separating, and he's back there. As a point guard, just distributing the rock, getting it out quick, timing, tempo, everything flowing. I think a little bit more to Njoku. Amari Cooper staying healthy. Amari Cooper's a damn good wide receiver. He's very underrated. He's a very underrated wide receiver. He's been that throughout his entire career, maybe even at Alabama even. I considered him a, a generational type prospect, like a, a no-miss wide receiver. and really hasn't been. He's just been in weird situations. And now we're on the, like, the back leg of his career here with the Browns. And he's still good. He's still good. That's because he was a generational type wide receiver. Savvy route runner. He's tough. He's tough. Even when he's nicked up, he's still on the field. We saw that throughout his career. You see low points in his production. People are like, what? It's because he's been playing through injuries. He does not sit. He plays through it. He works through it. He is a gritty wide receiver. He will be out there if he can. You do not neglect Amari Cooper. You got Elijah Moore there in the middle. Very good wide receiver. Can create separation. He's got the quicks. And Jerry Judy on the outside. You can mix those two guys around too. You got a very diverse offense. For me, if he hits, he's going to be up-tempo, getting the ball out. Those wide receivers creating separation, which I, I expect it. I expect him to do good things. We know the downside. He's not firing on all cylinders. The ball comes out a little slower. He has to progress a little bit more. It just Nothing's clicking, and you're just waiting for him to hit. And the Browns are losing games. They're not supposed to win. They're, the games are tighter than they're supposed to be. They should be blowing some teams out, being ahead a little bit more. That's something you'll notice if he's not clicking all the way. And you'll know. You'll know. But we've seen that already. So what would the good look like? Also, we got some good young wide receivers on this team. They are smart at getting cheaper wide receivers throughout the draft that would really be playmakers on other teams or at least have a bigger role. Cedric Tillman there. One of the bigger wide receivers in last year's class. They were able to snag him. David Bell at Purdue was a playmaking machine. Good ball skills. They picked up Jamari Thrash. Very quick off the release. Good after the catch. Very snappy route runner. And that depth there at the wide receiver depth chart. Something you want to pay attention to. Because they're strong at the top and all the way through the bottom. With good prospects and good top end veterans. 
They are a stout wide receiver depth chart, and they're stout at the running back position. They got some good vets there as well. Watson should hit, and if he doesn't, he's cooked. He's cooked because they got everything around him. They should be able to allow him to cook this year. If not, he is cooked. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One, thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.